So hello everybody, my name is Jamie Life, and welcome back for some more The Walking Dead Season 2. Right. <clears throat> Search the barrel. It's a good search, good search. Uh, I'm assuming we need to leave and go and get the supplies. So I'm assuming there's a little hole behind there, isn't there? Not much left in here. I guess if I have to, I can use this for stitches. Oh. Isn't there a... Oh, hello. Oh, come on, you had it. Do you need something to stand on? Uh, let's just look at some stuff. Because I'm not sure if actually looking... At, like, in, in Season 1, it did actually start to do some stuff by the end. So I'm... Maybe? Is there anything down here? Oh, hello. That was good. Right, the hammer should do the trick. Let's get out of here. They have a doctor. He's gotta have stuff for stitches. Sneaky, sneaky. Find a way into the cabin and obtain a needle, peroxide, and some bandages. Let's go through the front door. No. Uh. Wow, there's really loads of entrances. I'm going to assume this is the back door. So. No? Okay. Okay, so we have to actually... Oh, we can look into this one. It makes me feel like a fucking idiot when we're not on the same page. We are on the same page. Not out there, we weren't. Not about the girl. I saw you get soft. What do you want me to do, Beck? Put a bullet in her? I want you to think about our family first. It's all I think about. So don't give me this shit. I need some air. What the hell are you doing? need your help. Me? No. I'm sorry, but I can't do nothing. Please. I need to fix my arm. Are you out of your mind? Even if you ain't bitten by some lurker, which you probably are, you can't be here. You gotta get out of here, you understand? 
Get back into that shed and Carlos will take care of you in the morning. Damn it, girl, go! I can tell that you're nice. I ain't nice. Yes, you are. Don't you do that. I see what you're doing. Huh? I'm serious. You need to get out of here. I saw when everyone was arguing. You wanted to help. You didn't see anything. Look, you gotta get out of here before my wife finds you. I'm serious. You gotta go. I got enough problems already. I got a baby on the way. Rebecca's all emotional. I got a mess of hormones causing all sorts of trouble. I don't want to get you in trouble. I'm already in trouble. Just talking to you. Sorry I bothered you. Yeah, well, I'm sorry I bought your damn arm. Wish I could help you, but try not to die. <laughs> try not to die. It's good advice there. Sneaky, sneaky. So, there's no other way in. Maybe there's a way underneath. Oh, sneaky. Imagine that. Because it's on the... Um, maybe there's a crawl space. Ah! Where's the hammer? No, try the hammer first. Okay, do the knife. But if it snaps, I'm going to be mad. Oh. Ah. She's got a book. She doesn't need to be a part of it. Right. Just listen to the kitchen door. We don't know. She's connected to somebody. There's no way she's out here by herself. She said she was with a friend. They got attacked. Yeah, right. Whoever she is. They're just discussing it. I reckon medical supplies will be in the bathroom. And I'm assuming the bathroom's upstairs. Bedroom, bathroom, here we go. There's a needle. It's clean. Oh, 
I'll still need some bandages and something to keep it from getting infected. There's nothing else in here. Need to have this baby. <laughs> let it be okay. Let it be his. <sighs> well, that's some juicy information right there. Right, let's get out of here. Where would they keep the rest of the stuff? Shh. You're not supposed to be in here. Please help me. I'm not supposed to talk to you. My dad can't know. Uh. What are you reading? A book? What book? I like books. It's called The Gurgles. It's about transdimensional body snatchers. Cool. What happened to you? A dog bit me. Sounds scary. I bet it hurts. You want to see it? Uh, it really wasn't one of them. It really wasn't. Okay. Ew, gross. <laughs> I know, right? You have to bandage it like my dad does. Yeah, I know. Help me. I need something to clean it up, and something to wrap it with. A clean bandage. My dad says we're out of real bandages, but I know where to get something to clean it. That's what this applies. I'll help you. Good. Thank you. I'm Sarah. I'm Clementine. We can be best friends. I haven't met another girl my age since way before. It's hard to be the only girl, you know. Rebecca is okay, but she's old. And that's it. And if her baby is a girl, it'll be forever before she's old enough to, like, be my friend. And then I'll be super cool. Yes, we are friends. Promise? It's important. Friends have to trust each other, no matter what. I promise. Me too. Friends. Pinky swear. A pinky swear is forever. I'll see if I can find the stuff my dad uses when I get a gun. Let me look around. I think this is it. That'll work. You can't do it here, though. Someone will find you. Don't worry. I won't. Thanks, Sarah. Uh, I still need bandages.
Is there any in here? Don't see why there would be, but well, there's a watch. I'm not gonna take the watch. Not exactly bandages, but they should help stop the bleeding. Let's head back to the shed. My theory is if I take the watch and then they find out later, then they're going to call me a thief. But if I just purely take the stuff I need to clean my bandage, uh, clean my wound, then, you know, it's fairly innocent. to put it. Right. part. Now, just like last time, just how Krista showed me. This is cringing me out. This is painful just to watch. Oh, I'm gonna faint. Now some bandages. Good job. 
Get in here. Little girl's tough as nails. Are you all right? The shed should have been safe. Can I please come inside now? Please. You patched yourself up? Where'd you get that stuff? Did she steal from us? This doesn't change a thing. She hasn't done anything to us. Says the man not carrying a baby. Enough already. Guys, please. I did. I took stuff, and I'm sorry. I really am. And you think you can trust her? God damn it, don't even start. Any of you would have done the same if you were half as tough as this little girl. So just save it. Bring her in, and I'll take a look at her arm. Damn lurkers sneaking around out here. We better get inside. You hungry? Why did it... Why did it come to just blank him? This might hurt a little. Ow. How she look? Her suturing skills need some work, but otherwise, I say she should be fine. So, it wasn't a lurker bite? If it was, the fever would have already set in, and her temperature would be through the roof. You wouldn't have done what you did. What do you mean? You manipulated my daughter. I asked for her help. She's not someone you can just ask for help. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. But there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. Okay. She isn't like you. You may not get that initially. But once you're around her for a while, you'll understand. If she knew how bad the world is, what it's really like out there, she would cease to function. She's my little girl. She's all I have left, and I would ask that you stay away from her. I'm sorry. I didn't know. It's okay. You're forgiven. Just don't make any more mistakes. Hey, uh, brought you some food if you're hungry. That's gonna leave one hell of a scar. Better than losing it. Now you can say that again. Scars, they're way cooler than stumps. Definitely. Hey, look. I just want to say I'm sorry for 
for being a dick out there. I got kind of aggro, and that was definitely not cool. Nick's been known to go off every once in a while. Don't hold it against him. Yeah, I guess we all have our moments. You definitely had one out there. You were just protecting your friends. I get it. Well, I didn't mean to be so harsh. I just... Uh, we had a bad experience once. What happened? Nick lost his mom. We took care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. I... It was no one's fault. We thought we could control it, but we couldn't. And then she turned, and his mom was standing right there, and she got attacked. And there was nothing we could do about it. Anyway, hopefully you understand. I do. Yeah. Damn. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I don't know. I'm kind of on my own now. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. You can let yourself heal up. Take some time to sort things out. Do you think everyone else will be okay with it? They'll just have to deal with it. So... What happened to your parents? If you don't mind me asking. I mean, I assume what happened to them is... what happened to just about everyone's parents. You're just so young. Didn't think you could have made it on your own for so long, but... maybe you did. Other people took care of me, if that's what you're asking. I was just curious on how you made it this far. I just tried to stay with good people and not do anything dumb. I'm sorry. I... I shouldn't have asked. My parents went on vacation and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them. But they were already dead. Wow. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. This man found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it. But it didn't work. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. He taught me how to shoot a gun. What uh, happened to him? Same thing that happens to everyone, but he saved me first, lots of times. Well, sounds like he was a real good guy. Yeah, he was. I hate to interrupt, but I'm out there standing watch and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyways. Now get your winks while you can, because we're going fishing at first light. Couple fresh brookies for dinner? Mm, wouldn't that be nice? Oh, you're still here. I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. Luke invited me to stay. Good for him, but that's not how things work around here. We make decisions as a group, and you're wearing out your welcome. You got what you came here for. Now go.
That's just so cruel. How you holding up? I heard you got an earful from Rebecca last night. Once she gets going, there's no bringing her back. Her bark's worse than her bite. What's her problem? Yeah, well, she's got a lot on her mind lately. Bringing a baby into a world like this. How far are these fish traps? It ain't much further. Anyone teach you how to shoot? By that I mean taught proper. Any idiot with a finger can shoot. My friend Lee taught me. That's good. It's important nowadays. Nick was about your age, first time I took him hunting. Came across this beautiful 13-point buck just standing there on the ridge line. The boy takes the rifle, he lines up the shot just like I taught him, and then I hear him start whining. He turns to me and he says, I can't do it. I can't shoot it, Uncle Pete. Please don't make me shoot it. Really? No way. Hey! Why didn't you wait? You want us standing around while you piss on a tree? You know where the river is, boy. Anyway, so I grab the gun out of his hand before the big buck runs off, when bang, the gun fires. Boy nearly gut shot me. And of course, the buck gets away. What are you going and telling her this shit for? Cause you almost blew her face off yesterday. Seems relevant. Trying to let her know it's nothing personal with you. Why are you always giving me a hard time? Because you're always giving everyone else a hard time. I apologized already. She accepted. Okay, well, I didn't know that. It's fine. He apologized. You're always trying to embarrass me. You're doing a good enough job of that on your own. Leaving us again. I know where the fucking river is. So anyway, I found that buck later that season. Shot it right in the neck. Brought it up to my sister's figuring she'd want to freeze some of the meat. Nick didn't speak to me for weeks. Sometimes you gotta play a role. Even if it means people you love hate you for it. He doesn't hate you. Nick's father wasn't there much. And he was a piece of shit when he was. So it fell to me to keep him in line. Raise him right. Meant I couldn't just be nice Uncle Pete. Uncle Pete! Nick! Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Ah, full of holes. Who do you think did this? Not sure yet, but it ain't your average gang of thugs. That much I know. Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? Check those guys there. Be careful. Some of them might still be moving. Right. Well, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching another episode of The Walking Dead. If you liked it, hit that like button, hit that J2, subscribe to my channel, and as always, I will see you all next time.